Hey guys, uh, in this video you're about to watch, I'm just, uh, just took today, walking around, taking it easy, hanging around camp, uh, walked on a little trail here in town, just, just did a little maintenance on the bike, just took, took a day just not riding, so, uh, not much going on in this video, I mean it's a little bit, uh, just routine daily stuff that I do, no riding, uh, just went to the store, Clean my bike a little bit, air the tires up, you know, just just general stuff. But anyway, let's get this video started. And I appreciate y'all for being here. All right, everybody. I woke up, drug my old sorry bones out of bed. Um, it's gonna look like it's gonna be a beautiful day. According to weather app, it's supposed to be right now. It's 53. I think it feels good. I'm kind of hot natured. I just Got a t-shirt on out here walking around, but um, I never forgot. I ain't really woke up yet. I ain't had no coffee. I think it's supposed to be 70 today, 68, something like that. But we, I, I don't know if I told you last video, I got to start keeping up with this stuff. I can't remember if I told you or not. I'm in Thief River Falls, Minnesota, because if I'm not mistaken, Probably the last video you've seen, we went to a camp spot that I've always used for years and now there's no camping or something like that. I can't remember, that was a long time ago. Uh, but anyhow, what's on the agenda for today? Oh, if I haven't showed you, there's the Red River. I'm using this junky old GoPro, so I gotta walk, pretty much stand in the water for you to see it. I can see it now. Maybe it's just my display screen. It's like everything's 100 miles away. It's very pretty here. This is an awesome town. I love this town. I came here, I really don't remember, two years ago, I think. Uh, it wasn't last year, I don't believe. You know, I really don't know. I could spend all day trying to think. I'm pretty sure it was two years ago. Me and Felicia came here to work a seasonal job at a electronics factory or whatever you want to call it. They make like computer chips and all that, digi key. But anywho, the reason I'm bringing that up is that's, that's how I found this town and uh, explored it all. And it's, I could live here. I, I could very easily live here. I, I really like this town. The thing keeping me from doing it is winter. It gets so brutally cold here. And maybe not for these local folks. It may just be average old winter. But for me, I, I can't do it. I can't handle temps like that. I got that thin skin southern, you know, body. Well, I'm fat. I got plenty of insulation, but I can't handle no consistently 10 to 20 below zero. That's, that's not for me. Not even gonna try. But any, anyway, the agenda for the day. As soon as I get through yapping, I'm going to jump on a bike, go get some coffee. Instead of making it, I just want to go somewhere and get some. And I know you're supposed to be doing this life on a budget. I get that. But sometimes I just like the interaction. I like going to a... Well, Felicia always loved coffee shops. I, I care less about coffee shops, but I kind of... I don't know because of her or what, but I kind of got to where I like going to one every now and then. Not every day, just, just every now and then. I just like the interaction. And I like not having to deal with making coffee. And there's nothing wrong if you're doing this on a budget, anybody who's, or any kind of traveling, any kind of venture, if you're doing it on a budget, it doesn't mean you can't spend absolutely zero money, never, ever, ever. I mean, you can treat yourself every now and then. Go out and get you a dinner, or, or like me, I'm gonna go buy me a coffee. And you just can't do it every single day, you know, three times a day. You just, well, I mean, cause if you're rich, you can, but <laughs> if you're doing a lifestyle like this, more than likely you're like me and everybody else, you don't have any money. So saying all that, uh, come on, B, get away from my hair. Um, I was trying to wait a little bit. I think it's 8.30 in the morning right now, 8, something like that. I was trying to wait a minute before I fired that old bike up. It's, it's a little loud and everything, but 
somebody's just right over there just ripping a chainsaw so i guess you know me starting a bike can't be any worse than that so that's what i'm gonna do that's my plan uh i guess i'm gonna walk up here start the bike i'm gonna run get me coffee and then a little bit later on here the gooses is uh gotta run to walmart and get a couple of things to try to fix the lights on my bike and this bead is like trying to land inside my ear but anyway that's the plan for today so let me shut this old camera off go up here and make everybody mad i'm gonna start my old bike and we'll run and get us a coffee okay guys you're not gonna believe what just happened. I went to the store. Well, I went to the coffee shop, got me some coffee. Went to a local park. Well, not really a park, just a little spot by the river. Had a picnic table, drank my coffee, ate me a biscuit. And I went to the store, had to work on my lights. Uh, by the way, it turned out to be a super simple fix. One of them, I still got one out. But I didn't have the right, um, the right tool to take the light cover off. It had like one of them funny Chinese looking crazy screws like things. So I went to the store to buy me one of them and I saw something and I got super excited. Do y'all remember my old camera squeaky? Remember I used that thing for years? Uh, it has a viewfinder that flips out and it always squeaks if you hear the video squeaking. <laughs> Guess what I found? I was so sad when that camera broke and it wouldn't work no more. And I got online, tried to order another one, couldn't find it because they quit making it a couple years ago. And I got really, really, really sad about it until just now. Look what I found. I found Squeaky's brother. Yes. Um... You know, you know it may, it, it's probably gonna be another garbage camera, but it's what we use on this ca on this channel. We use junk, and we make junk work. So I'm gonna get this thing opened up, check it out, and uh, see if it's any good or not. But anyway, give me just a minute to get opened up, and uh, I'll be back. All right, guys, come out here to this little walking trail. Let me see, what is this? Just a Place to get out of the weather, I guess. But anyway, come out here to this little walking trail. We can see where it goes, what it is, what it does, and uh, yeah, just enjoy the day. Now I'm not using my new camera because I got it charging right now. Still using no junky GoPro, which I'm gonna keep it. I just won't be using it as much. But this is called the River. I didn't forget the River Walk Trail. I think that's what it was. Anyway, we're just gonna go for a little stroll to stretch your legs. Because tomorrow, we got to get back on the road. I've been here. Huh, which way did I go? Yeah, let's go this way. Because uh, come tomorrow morning, I will have been here two days. You know, I got here yesterday. And then today. Oh, no. Now what I do? Let's go down, because I know the water's down this way, so. Yeah, I really enjoy this town. Like I said earlier, I could, I could very easily live here if it didn't get so dab blend cold. Hmm. Which way do I go now? We're at the river, because I can see it. Oh, that just goes back out towards the road. We don't, we've seen enough road. Let's go this way. 
Yeah, I see some water now. I see a trail going to the water. Let's check out the water well. That trail's pretty steep. That puts you right in the water. I ain't trying to do all that. Anyway, so let's have a little walk and talk. A little talking head episode. And it splits off so many times, I don't ever... I think that put us back to where we was. Oh, here's a good view. Um, what are my plans? What are my plans? What are my plans? As of right now, my plans are to get on over in North Dakota, work this little job real quick, and then go south kind of quickly because it's going to time i leave up here it's going to just going to be well for me it's going to be miserable cold probably not the locals probably still be summertime to them but for me it'd be yeah it, it'd just be too cold so man such a pretty this is the red river i think i've told y'all 14 times already but can you imagine having that house, that property, right here on this river? It's beautiful. But anyway, what am I doing after I head south? That's a good question. I don't really, still haven't picked out the destination. Still don't know where I'm going. I mean, I've, I've mentioned a few times you know, places I might go, but I just, it ain't nothing definite yet. I'm trying to do a, trying to meet up with some folks, some fellow, fellow and fellow riders, full-time riders. Uh, just trying to figure out where everybody, a lot of people is going to Mexico. Uh, I talked to one or two that they ride all summer and they're going home in the winter, so they don't do me no good. If anybody, I'm, I'm considering going to Florida for the winter. <clears throat> because like I said before, I always go out west every winter. And I'm just getting kind of, I wouldn't say burnout on it. I mean, it's just one of them, you know, kind of been there, done it things. So I'm, I'm wanting to see something different. Ooh, that's a nice house. Which, um. Like I mentioned before, I've been to Florida, you know, 291 times, I mean, but I haven't really stayed down there all winter and just, you know, kind of bum around and sightsee and all that. And that's kind of my plans. It's not set in concrete yet. It's not 100%. Uh, I never know what the good Lord has in store for me. So, you know, it could change, but as of right now, it's probably 87%. That's what I'm gonna do is go to Florida. So I, I said all that to ramble on and say this. If anybody watching this is a full-time rider or just, you know, travel in the winter time, like go somewhere warm on a motorcycle Send me an email. My email is always in the description down below. Send me an email. Get in, talk, in contact with me. And let's, uh, let's meet up down there somewhere. You know, we, I'm not saying we got to hold hands and skip through the park or nothing like that. But let's meet up and ride a little bit or maybe just hang out down in Florida. You know, kind of do our own thing. But... Maybe camp close by or something like that. Uh, used to call it the buddy system. Now, try not to get into a big old long, strung out story, but a lot of you know, some of you don't, some of my new subscribers don't know. I've been a full-time traveler for years, but in an RV. And we always did the buddy system. Well, not always, but me and a couple other people who live that lifestyle we did a buddy system what i mean by that 
we didn't um, necessarily hold hands and skip through the park like I was joking before, but we would stay in contact. We would stay, you know, re relatively close, within 100 miles of each other or whatever, 50 miles, and we always stayed in contact. So if one had issues or broke down or needed help, the other would be nearby. It'd be like a safety net and vice versa. And it worked really good. I really enjoyed that. And plus, even though sometimes, even though you're out in all these wonderful places, all these secluded campgrounds or secluded areas and everything's so great, it's just, sometimes it's nice to have a familiar face. So that brings me back to why I said if anybody's a full-time rider, or you don't really have to be full-time, but if you're going to spend the winter, this winter on your bike, and uh, happen to be down in the Florida area, send me an email, get in, in contact with me, and uh, yeah, let's get together. Maybe do some riding or, uh, you know, I don't know the right word. I don't want to sound like I'm asking for a date, <laughs> but you know what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, having to do the little buddy system down there, and it'd be, you know, it's kind of fun. But you're you're still able to go off and do your own thing. Here's cool the path goes to the river. So you know, like, say we meet up in I don't know Tampa or Cocoa Beach, wherever. I'm just naming the place. But, you know, I may go off to Clearwater somewhere for. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Catching anything? Well, I run into some people fishing there. Had a long conversation, so I had to pause it. But we're back. Uh, don't remember what we was talking about really, but other than just shooting me an email, getting in contact. Oh yeah, I was saying, uh, you know, if we met up in a certain area or wherever, you know, you still have the ability to, like if, uh, say I want to go off somewhere else for four or five days a week or two weeks or whatever, you know. You, you still have the option to do that. You don't have to stand there and hold hands. You just got someone to stay in contact with, you know, safety net, so to speak. So anyway, that's a long way of saying, if you want to meet up down in Florida, shoot me an email. We'll try to make plans and get together. But I'm gonna continue walking this trail Yeah, I don't know. That one there looks like you got to be Tarzan to get through there. So, yeah, I'm going to continue walking this trail, get a little exercise in. I've, I've been lazy for the past week, just been on that bike riding and haven't been really walking around or nothing. Yeah, we made it out of the woods alive. There's the buffalo. Yeah, river walk. That is what this is called. River Walk. Welcome to Thief River Falls. A visit to the Thief River Falls would not be complete without a historic walk along two rivers. The reason the town started here over a hundred years ago, a path built by the city, college, and county, and community organizations in partnership with, I don't know what all that stands for. Take your, take, take you through nine parks and three forest trails. Pretty interesting. Okay. Everybody, um, the day is winding down. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I'm not even sure how long it's going to be or how short it's going to be, but normally it's probably going to be six hours long. But I'll be leaving here in the morning, so I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded, get it in the queue ready to go because I got great service here. And I don't know when. I thought I heard somebody hollering my name. I hear ghosts. I don't know when, uh, you know, I'll have, next time I'll have good service like this. Might have it the rest of the trip, I don't know, but that's what I'm getting at, I don't know. But anyhow, this is what's going on. Uh, getting everything I got charged up. Um, yes, I think I told you. If I hadn't, uh, I got this paid campground with electric, 
and showers. I don't know if you can see it. That building right there has got the showers and laundry and, and all that. I went ahead and splurged, treated myself because, well, I'm not going to get into all that story again, but you know, the past three or four days, I've just been getting beat down by the wind and kind of a little bit discouraged, so I treated myself to this spot. But anyhow, like I said, I'm getting everything charged up. Now I'm fixing to make some supper. It's five o'clock. Uh, didn't do as much as I planned on doing today. Well, I did. I just didn't really show it all. I went to a couple little spots in this town that I like, you know, going to little parks and walked along the Red River, which I'm using Junkie GoPro. It's not going to show it, but it's just literally right there. Uh, got my new camera I just bought today, charged up. Before anybody says anything, I know it's not the greatest top of the line Canon or, or whatever, you know, it's just no cheap camera, but it's going to work for me. I don't have to have the best of the best, you know, I don't need all that stuff. I just need something better than this old garbage GoPro I got. But anyway, fixing to watch a little YouTube. Uh, the Yard Buzzers got a video come out. That's actually came out yesterday i think i just i got the notification as i haven't had time to look at it so i'm probably gonna eat some supper and watch that got my water bottles filled up i'm gonna try to finish that one off i, I went to walmart and bought a man my ants have been bad here i gotta check out my gear for i put up but um went to walmart and bought a gallon jug of water they've got a water spigot right over there i just you know i don't know how much i trust it considering the rivers right there anyway i've been drinking out of the jug and i filled up my two one liter bottles i carry with me they actually go in this bag right here it's small there's more water in them two bottles what you think uh that's a whole day's worth um well as far as cooking and making my coffee and all that now my drinking water whenever i stop i uh you know i'm usually somewhere where i can get a drink of water and the point is, the point of all that silliness is I'm going to try to finish that gallon jug off because I don't want to carry that big jug. But I think, you know what I'm going to have for supper? I've got tons of food. I don't, you know, don't worry, folks. I'm eating good. I got my, I picked this up today because I'm about out. My spinach wraps. I love spinach wraps. And I got a... What did I buy? Oh yeah, this is gonna be supper tomorrow night. Got me some cheese. Risotto? 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 Anyway, it's pre-cooked. Just put it in a pan, add a drop of water, throw it on the little stove to get her heated back up. But that's supper tomorrow night. And I went ahead and bought them today at Walmart. It's hard to do. It's hard to get back in that bag one-handed. Uh, since this town's got a Walmart, we haven't picked up a few things because it's just cheaper the little far farm towns i pass through i try to support them try to spend a little money there but you know i'm on a budget i can't i can't spend eight dollars for a loaf of bread i just can't do it and i got another bag of food here it's got i don't know looks like some suits oh yeah these things get out of here let me get you turned around because i need to see my screen on the back I can switch it to the front, I just want to, don't want to. I've been eating these things, I love these things. Quick, easy meal, you don't have to heat it up, or you can. Usually what I'll do, I'll cook some noodles or some soup and throw one of these in there. Man, it's good. What is this tuna, rice, and beans, you know? Well, it says it right there, folks, rice and beans. But anyway, yeah, I got a few of them. I actually got too much stuff, but here's what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna finish these off. Let me get around where I can see the screen. Can you see it? Chili cheese. With some more soft shell tortillas. Tortillas. But, um, yeah. <laughs> then the rest is just my coffee and, you know, stuff like that. Some instant mashed potatoes. You know, just simple stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Let you in on a little, little, I don't even know what you was looking at. Was I holding the camera down? I'm sorry. But I'm going to let you in on a little tip. If you're planning on traveling, and now this ain't going to be one of them videos you see on YouTube, five tips to what you're doing wrong, or 
five tips to what you need and do it my way and no other way. You know, it ain't gonna be one of them. This is just actually a tip that'll help you. Most people, when they travel, whether hiking or car camping or whatever, and they don't have refrigeration, they just, they eat out of cans and bag soups and never have no kind of meats or they go and buy their meat daily. So if they're 50 miles out in the bushes, they gotta drive all the way to town and get their meat for the day. Well, if you like pork, and a lot of people don't, I'm just saying if you like pork, you know you can keep it without refrigeration for about three days. Especially these. Why do I, everybody's probably wondering why do I eat these uh, Johnsonville brats so much? Well, for one, I like them. But right, try to get you down there. Oh, my screen went blank, hang on. I gotta turn it on so I can see what I'm showing you. If you look right down here, is it gonna focus? Well, it's not gonna focus, but it says fully cooked. All right. So what that means is one, I don't really have to cook it. If I don't want to, I just heat it up or get it cold. But two, pork, when it's fully cooked, you can keep it, well, depending on the temperature of the climate you're in, you can keep it two days, sometimes three. Like I'm in cool, nice, cool weather up north. This will be my third day I've had this and it's perfectly fine. And I know somebody's gonna freak out and say, ooh, you're gonna die. Well, no, I've been doing this for, well, as long as I've been traveling. It's it's perfectly fine and it don't taste bad, it don't stink, it don't, this ain't rancid. It's just like the day I opened it up at the store. Just trust me on that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't intentionally do something to make you sick. Now, if it's raw pork and it's not cooked, you can buy it today and as long as you keep it out of direct sunlight and maybe in a, dry bag or something like that it's good to the next day but past that I wouldn't you know uncooked raw pork I wouldn't go much more than that but if you cook it or you buy it pre-cooked or you cook it if you're not in the desert with it when it's 120 degrees if you're in a nice average 70 degree climate or any cooler would be better if you keep it somewhere dry and out of direct sunlight, you can keep it up for three days. Probably a little bit further than that, but I wouldn't I wouldn't push it much more than that. That's yeah, that's borderline. Three days is pretty much my max, so try it. You'd be surprised. But yeah, like I said, this day's coming to the end. I'm gonna cook some supper. Uh finish charging all my stuff. I just went and maintenance my bike, checked the oil and that's my battery air pump. I aired up my tires. This weather climate, it, it messes with your tires. Like I just come out of the south where it's still 100 degrees and 7,000% humidity. Up here to this 16, 7 degree weather, it, it changes your tire pressure. So I checked it, had to add a few pounds. Charging up my power packs, you know, I got the camera. Just getting everything ready because I'm going to be pulling out here in the morning. So any, any who, I think that's going to be it. Let me shut this camera off. Uh, start getting this video edited and uploaded and in the queue so just in case I'm somewhere for bad service you know, we'll be ready to go I think that's about it uh, if y'all have any questions or comments or or want to tell me I'm an idiot just put it down in the comment box uh, I think I've mentioned several times uh, but some of y'all been using it I mean I've gotten actually got three emails today yeah, if you want to contact me, email is always in the description. Quickest way to get a hold of me. Uh, may not answer you immediately, but because I could be somewhere with no service or bad service, but as soon as I see it and I'm able to, I'll, I'll reply back to you. And I think that's about it. Um, yeah, that's all I can think of. Oh, yeah, real quick. It made me think of them emails. I did get an email today from a new subscriber. Wanting to know uh, what gear I use and, and what I take with me. Well, I, I'll go over that again. It probably will be a little bit when I get somewhere and get settled in, or maybe get to my seasonal job over here or something. But uh, I'm not going to do it when I'm on the road. It's like tomorrow. I just you know stop on the side of the road and drag all that out. And probably won't be then. So give me just a little bit of time. We'll go over my gear again. 
because I'm still kind of sorting through it myself. I've, I've brought everything I thought I was going to need, and believe it or not, I brought too much. I need to downsize. But yeah, we'll do that. I'll get, I'll get somewhere and drag everything out, spread it out. We can see it, which you can see most of it here. But we'll go, we'll go over it. You know, I got my one of my drive bags here. Obviously, my tent, a Walmart ground sheet, tent to keep the dew and tree sap and stuff off of me, and you know, power banks, uh, air inflator for my tires, battery powered air inflator. You know, my little table, my chair I'm sitting in. We'll go across it. Every bit of it. I'll drag it all out. We'll go through every bit of it. So just be hanging there. Uh, before the one asked me that, just hang in there. I'll get to it. Uh, just give me a little time. Get somewhere where, you know, I can drag all this out and then put it all back. And we'll get your question answered. So I, think, I believe that's it. I want to say hello to all my friends, my family, my subscribers, everybody back home. Uh, I'll be coming back that direction here. Oh, it's going to be a little while, but I'm coming back through there on my way south, so I'll see everybody when I come through. But I think that's about it, so, yeah. Till I see you guys again, God bless you.